Hello everyone, today we have another relationship scandal story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My girlfriend has been living with me and my family for the past two years. We've been together for almost four years. She got into a huge fight with her dad and decided to move out. My mom, being the kind person she's always been, offered to let her live with us. I agreed, of course, I mean I loved her. Keyword here is loved because this is not a happily ever after story. I won't even waste time sharing the background story of how we met, dating experience and the sweet memories we shared. It makes no sense now, when I think about how the relationship got shattered so I'll focus on the events that led to the doom end. Now, I've always been somewhat of a jealous type in a relationship, but not the crazy kind. My suspicions first arose about a year ago when I was playing this board game code names with my sister, her boyfriend, and the cheating ex, let's call her Stacy. Stacy and my sister's boyfriend were on a team together, and right away I didn't like the energy they were giving off. She was laughing at all his jokes, he was teasing her about random stuff. It all just looked flirtatious to me, and I wasn't having any of that. That night, I talked to her about it, and she told me that it was nothing. Of course, everything starts with a denial. I should have read the early signs more carefully. I mean I did, but then took the easy approach instead of tackling the situation heads on like a man. During this time, I was going to school and had a job working as a cook, so I was out of the house most of the time. Some days I wouldn't get home until midnight. My parents worked 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. jobs, as well as my sister. My girlfriend only worked weekends, and she took her schooling online. My sister boyfriend is in construction, but his schedule is two weeks on, two weeks off. Most of the day, Stacy and my sister's boyfriend were home alone together. My suspicions only grew ever since that board game night. Every time they were in a room together, Stacy would barely look at him anymore. They'd make small talk here and there. I could tell the dynamic of their relationship changed. I confronted Stacy again, asking why all of a sudden, she was acting so awkward around him? She said it's because she doesn't want to upset me. At this point I felt bad for making her feel guilty. I said I'd never bring it up again, and I kept my word until six days ago. I was lying down on the couch upstairs in the living room. Stacy was in the kitchen, which was half visible from where I was, making a smoothie. My sister's boyfriend comes downstairs, and starts making lunch for himself. I couldn't see what they were doing, but I pretended not to care, holding my phone to my face. I could barely see their figures in the back door's glass reflection. They were shifting around each other, trying to do their own thing, when all of a sudden, he slaps her butt. In that moment, I felt frozen. Every part of me flared up. After my sister's boyfriend went back upstairs, I got up from the couch, went to the front door, and put my shoes on. Stacy comes toward me and says, where are you going? And I just responded, really? I saw what just happened. Then I left and slammed the door behind me. She chased after me, getting all angry, trying to act as if nothing even happened. I told her what I saw, which just made her even more mad. A reflection? So, you're saying you didn't even see it then? You thought you saw it, you wanted to see it just to justify your psycho thoughts. At this point she's threatening to break up with me saying she's going to move out and live on her own. Making me feel guilty by saying she's broke, that she'll have to drop out of school and work full time at some crap job. As much as I wanted to just end all of it and let her go at this point, I apologized. I apologized for everything, begged her to stay, and promised to never, ever bring it up again. It took a lot of convincing, but eventually she decided to stay, and we walked back to the house. I knew what I saw, I just needed hard evidence. She thought I was a simp and I played along. How could she do this to me? What type of reverse psychology is she trying to play? My trust has always been hard to earn and even harder to keep but once I trust someone, I trust with my whole heart. That's why it's so hurtful when my trust gets broken and thrown back in my face. I needed evidence and I was going to get it. It's time to strategize and put my plan in motion. That same night I ordered a tiny black hidden camera from Amazon. When it arrived, I set it up in the living room next to the kitchen just at the corner of one of the curtains. The next morning when everyone was still asleep, I discreetly took out the chip, put it in the USB, and quickly went through the footage on my laptop. Nothing happened. 
I cleared up the space and put the chip back in the camera. And then yesterday, I finally got what I wanted. I woke up before everyone else again and viewed the chip. Approximately at 3.15 am, I saw my sister's boyfriend slowly walk downstairs and sit on the couch. A few minutes later, Stacy walks upstairs from our room. She carefully walks over to him, sits on his lap, and I couldn't bear to watch anymore. I was in complete disbelief. The girl who I spent four years with, the girl I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Cheating on me with my sister's boyfriend. All this time lying to my face, making me feel guilty. She really played me, and my sister's boyfriend was unbelievable. I really wanted to walk up to him and strike him in the face. One strike for my sister and a harder one for what he did to me but obviously, I had a chunk of the blame on my girlfriend. I went back downstairs, woke up Stacy, placed the laptop in front of her, and played the video. As soon as she realized what was happening, she instantly closed it and froze. Nothing was said for what felt like an eternity. She started sobbing, trying to utter words until I finally spoke up, you're the most conniving, disgusting sociopath I've ever met. Start packing everything right now, or I'm sending this to everyone you know. We're done. That felt good to get off my chest this time around because with evidence, she can't play those silly mind games and reverse psychology stupidity on me. I was just upset I should have done this much sooner. I wished I had trusted my instincts when I first felt something was wrong the first time. What followed was a very long, pathetic, sorry excuse for an apology that I don't even want to get into. Eventually she called her dad, he came by and picked her, so I guess she's going to live with her family again. A lot of her things are still here, and she doesn't have any friends to deliver it to her, so I have no idea what to do with all the belongings. As for my sister and her boyfriend, he's also been kicked out of the house and now has his own place somewhere. Who knows, maybe Stacy might even move in with him, I don't care. I feel healed but at the same time feel like I didn't get revenge for the huge betrayal. No loyalty from these women anymore. It's sad and pathetic but I'm moving on. I feel so bad for my sister who has took the betrayal even harder. It was such a sick and twisted experience but, in the end, I'll be okay. The next girl would have to work even harder for my trust and, in the meantime, I will be slaying any cheap kitty that comes my way. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Share your comments below on your thoughts.